All right, hello everyone. I'm gonna just double check here to make sure that I can see myself well um, because I have my camera turned around, which actually helps to have um, better quality, but then you can't see yourself. Oh, perfect, all right. Just shut this door here. Okay, so today I get to talk to you guys about giving back and what that looks like for me. So I personally, I have done some fundraisers where it's like for a particular organization, but my heart is really for individuals. Um, and yes, that might seem more small scale, but it is more life-giving for me and um, something I really enjoy. So um, I'm not going to make this super lengthy or anything like that, but I wanted to just explain what I do every month. So I do something every month called a gem nomination. And first of all, in order to tell you about that, I have to tell you about my monthly Lady of the Month event. And I've talked about this here before, so maybe this is something you've already heard. But my Lady of the Month event is basically a, it's a monthly mystery hostess event that I do. But the way that I structure it is kind of different. I use texting marketing. So... <clears throat> Every month I do, I use Project Broadcast, which is a texting app, and I set up a monthly campaign where I send out links for videos, like pre-recorded videos on YouTube. Each month I do new videos, new topics, and I usually do three videos, so they'll get a video Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday um, of a particular week in the month. And for example, like just to give you an idea of what my topics are, um, my topic, one of my topics this month is um, five organization tips from a mom, homemaker, and business owner. So I guess it'd be kind of like YouTuber style, but I don't actually, a lot of my videos on YouTube aren't public. They're only for my Lady of the Month community. Um, and the cool thing with Project Broadcast is you can set up um, people to be in certain campaigns or certain lists. So a lot of my customers are, are tagged with the tag lady and that helps me to remember that all of them have asked to be in my monthly lady of the month event. So I can just plug them into that monthly campaign. It works super well. Um, so those are the women who get to take advantage of the videos that I do on YouTube. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't, <clears throat> I don't ever only talk about lemongrass. I usually sprinkle lemongrass in here and there and keep my customers updated on sales. But then, um, I like to talk about other things that interest them as well, and they seem to really enjoy that. So this, uh, the Lady of the Month event, the reason I'm telling you about this is because it's kind of my vehicle that I have for the monthly gem event that I do, because it's right in line with that. So the Lady of the Month event is really great because, and that's my mystery hostess event, that's really great because it allows me to have um, a good reorder business, it keeps my customers coming back for more, and at the end of those three days, um, they know that they're going to be able to order <clears throat> and be entered into a monthly drawing where I draw for winners who get hostage tours and all that stuff. So hopefully this isn't confusing so far. But um, I used to do actual gem parties and gem is just another word for just, I don't know, just someone special. So where I would actually have people request to do parties for somebody else. So I would do a party. The person that they were doing it for had no idea. People would order stuff for themselves or order stuff for the gem. Um, and then at the very end, we'd surprise her with all of the gifts and everything. But the way that I do them now is much simpler. And <clears throat> basically, I opened it up to my Lady of the Month members. And I said, hey, Something that I really have on my heart is to bless other women who are going through hard stuff. So whether that is um, maybe a miscarriage or losing a close family member, uh, maybe some kind of traumatic event in their life. Um, and I would love to bless these women with cash and with pampering products. And so when I first started doing this, I would take one, um, so I would split up, you know, the orders into multiple little parties. And I used to take a, a party like the party rewards and I would use those rewards to purchase the product for my gem of the month but I actually switched that and now I personally pay for those products it just works out better it's a lot easier um, and then I also sent her a check but I'm gonna explain a little more about um, how to do that Sorry, I want to close that door um, but so kind of what I do is I have a list of products that I always send this the person, the gem of the month, but then I tell my lady of the month members to send me nominations for whoever that they would like to nominate. And I have them, I have them 
send a little bit about their story, kind of why they're nominating them. And, you know, sometimes I have people that say, hey, like I have a friend who's really going through something really hard. I don't feel comfortable sharing about their story because it's private, um, but I would like to nominate them. And then once a month, I choose one person to be my gem of the month. That's probably the hardest part. So I take those nominations that my lady of the month community members send in. Um, and that's like a fancy word for like, I, I guess a lot of you would have maybe like customer groups. That would be maybe your community, um, wherever your community of customers is. Mine is my lady of the month community. That's who my customers are and I love them dearly. And so um, they send in their nominations and then I get to choose one person out of all those nominations to bless for the month. And I just, I do that prayerfully. I always pray that the Lord would help me to choose um, the person that needs to be chosen that month. And you know, maybe one day I will be able to choose more than one, but for now I just do one a month. Um, and then I, and again, this is just an idea, like you guys can do however you want to do when you're giving back. But for me personally, I like to send them a letter with a check as well. So a gift of funds. Um, and then I also place an order with a whole bunch of stuff in it. And normally it's between um, $150 to $200 in value of product. And there again, I'm a platinum director. I've been with Lemongrass Spa for six years, so I can afford to do that. Lord has tremendously blessed my business, but you know, it's okay to do this type of thing at a smaller scale if that's where you're at in your business. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. But I wanted to read the letter that I send along because I feel like this will give you a little bit more of my heart on why I do this the way that I do it. So um, I'm just going to read it really quickly. So it says, Dear friend, I realize this letter, and again, this is the letter that goes out to the gem that I choose out of the nomination. So I realize this letter may find you surprised and confused. Let me explain. I have this wonderful group of women and customers called my Lady of the Month community. Every month we talk about skincare, beauty, motherhood, etc. And then because of their purchases, I get to give away a bunch of free lemongrass spa products. Recently, I asked this community to send me nominations for women we could bless with free lemongrass spa products. The nominations have come come flooding in of women who have suffered the loss of a child, cancer treatment, seasons of financial strain, and other traumatic heartbreaking events. It's easy to feel forgotten or unseen through these seasons, isn't it? Our goal with blessing our gem of the month is to help her remember that she is seen. She is heard. The body of Christ is rallying around her to help her know that she is going to get through this and she's going to remain steadfast in his love. Each month, I take time to pray and consider these nominations and choose one woman to bless with some pampering items and cash. This is made possible through the generosity of these amazing women I connect with every month. The gem of the month I chose, the gem I chose this month is you, my friend. My prayer as you receive these gifts to take care of your outer temple is that your inner temple will be renewed and strengthened. I pray that each time you use a lotion or perhaps use the healing elements balm to soothe a, soothe a little one's scrape, that you would remember that somewhere out there is a body of women who are blessing you, encouraging you, and praying for you. Please also take this gift of funds to do something for yourself that will remind you that you are dearly loved. For some women, this will be buying themselves flowers and chocolate or treating themselves to a much needed did pedicure manicure for some it will be buying their children some new clothes or taking groceries to someone in need for others it will be purchasing a hotel room for a night alone to reflect and pray whatever you feel like to do may it be blessed and multiplied by the time you receive this letter your lemongrass products may have already arrived or they may still be on their way i've included a catalog with your products so that you can explore what each product is for uh, but more information can always be found on my website and then i include my website Right there. You can also contact direct me directly using my contact information below. If you would like to write a note expressing your thanks to my Lady of the Month community, just let me know. They would be so excited to hear from you. And then at the bottom, I just have um, little like my information and stuff. So that's what I sent along. And maybe that in itself is enough to kind of explain the way that I do it. Um, I am just a firm believer in giving and um, the Lord has blessed me so tremendously in that way. And um, so I guess from that freedom is the place that I give from. And so I, um, yeah, I, I just have had so much, so, so richly rewarded by doing this, not only in just knowing that um, I'm blessing someone else, but I just also love the way that it gives my customers an opportunity to bless others as well. And just to create kind of that culture within my customer groups. So um, I think that's everything that I wanted to say. I, I will say that I really do love doing it this way because I don't have to do a whole other separate event for it. I just kind of move it right into what I'm already doing. Um, so yeah, 
I think it's already, I've been doing this for probably about a year now, and um, I know it's blessed the women that I've done it for. It's blessed my Lady of the Month community, and that's the other cool thing. I always include, like, who nominated them, unless the person who nominated them wants to remain anonymous. But um, it's just a good way for them to be a blessing to others as well. So, all right, hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me directly, um, and I will be happy to answer any questions you have. See you all later.